Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Gerard Piquet to review today in regards to whether or not he's a pretty good center back to try out. So guys, we're looking at a card that is six foot four with high medium work rates. Mmm, mmm, with the pace like that, mmm. Two star skill moves with a three star weak foot. So with PK's card, guys, in my honest opinion, there's never really been a card that I was a big fan of. Like, it's it's a shame because he has the body type in game and he has the height in game. It's just that other stats on the card really brings him down. But I do want to try out the team of the season card regardless because you have to try out the cards. He could be a complete beast in the game, right? In regards to his specific stats, we're looking at 65 acceleration with 85 sprint speed. So obviously, you got to give him a shadow chemistry style. There's literally no other choice, right? Um, in regards to full chemistry, if you do get him on full chemistry, it's a plus 15 for acceleration and a plus 10 for sprint speed. So you would get 80 acceleration with 95 sprint speed. Now, here's the thing with this, right? For defenders, it's mostly ideal to have acceleration more than sprint speed because you need to be able to transition into certain spaces quickly, right? And I feel like he'll be okay with that because with transitioning left and right with defenders, nowadays with the way that the mechanics work, uh, he can still move left and right good enough, right? And I think that with his body type and game and the height that he has, I feel like he'll be uh, very, very good defensively regardless, right? So. The big thing that I'm noticing with this card so far is the fact that he's high medium work rates, but he doesn't have the pace to make up for the high medium work rates that he has, if that makes any sense, right? I still feel like he'll play off of another center back really well. It's more about the chasing after part that's bothersome for me because I know that he's going to have that slow animation that people like Chris Smalling have in this game as well, which I personally don't like. So I think personally off the bat, you would have to play with low depth with a card like this. Because if you play with low depth and he's not really chasing after players consistently, then you're looking at a good defender. Because the thing about PK is that his base defensive and physical stats are really, really good. So if you give him that shadow, uh, that shadow chemistry style increase to increase the pace as much as possible and increase his general defensive ability with low depth, not necessarily a problem because he doesn't have to chase after anybody. You could even give him an anchor if you're going to be playing that play style, right? But for me personally, for a person that's going to be playing on pressure on heavy touch, not for the sake of the review, we usually use balance for the sake of the review, but pressure on heavy touch, having an aggressive player, especially with him being a high medium work rate player, to chase after the ball after he loses it could present to be a problem. I'm just giving you guys my opinion when it comes to cards like PK, right? Um, I think with his scream card, there was a lot of things with the PK screen card that people just liked. I don't know if it's because they boosted his pace initially because I think they changed the stats from time to time, right? Because people regretted not doing this card. And in my opinion, I still wouldn't have liked this card. So if you like this screen PK card, there's obviously big potential in regards to you liking the team of the season because there are significant stat increases for certain areas, but there also isn't at the same time, right? In regards to his own characteristics. Um, Again, I've used PK before. I think his movement off of other center backs is actually quite nice. His defensive intelligence is great, again, because of his base card stats already being there, right? In regards to traits, he has leadership. I don't know what leadership do does. I think someone explained it to me before. I have no idea. Like, you have to give him captain or something, and he performs a certain way. No idea, right? But, um... Yeah, we're going to try out the card in game. The way that we're mostly going to be trying out PK in game, guys, is going to look like this. I just want to show you guys. We're just going to be using the basic 4231. We're not going to really force opportunities with him because you'll still be able to see some of his characteristics in game with balance, balance instructions for defense and for the offensive positions. Obviously, we're going to start him off as a right back in the 4-2-3-1 just to see what he's like actually chasing after the ball in certain situations and then when the game progresses we'll switch him to the center back position so uh yeah i think in regards to chemistry styles we already have the shadow chemistry style on him my boy picked him up because he's trying to go for a manchester united team here um so obviously gerard pk even though it was for a short stint he was there for a little bit so it still makes sense for him to add him to the squad so uh yeah, we are doing the review for Tony as well, so that's why we're going to be doing these both at the same time, and uh, we'll see what PK is like. I, like I said, I really think off the ball wise he'll be good. It's more like when I have to control him to chase after certain people, that's not going to be the greatest. But 
I, I feel like his defensive awareness will be great with Rio Ferdinand next to him. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Great job, PK, with that defensive play right there. Uh, he's playing off of the other center backs super well so far. I like it. Well done, PK. Positions himself really nicely to get out that ball right there. Nicely done, PK. Physical presence, very noticeable with the card. Um, the body type that he has is going to be a really huge thing on this card for sure. Nice little tackle there with PK. You could definitely notice that even with uh, a shadow chemistry style on the PK, I wanted to use him as a right back just for a little bit, just to see what he's like chasing after someone. You could definitely tell that he has kind of like this sluggish feel to him in regards to him chasing after someone, right? Like you guys know how when you use uh, a card like Ether Millie Town, when he's chasing after someone, he kind of feels like a fullback chasing after someone because his agility and balance is actually quite solid. So, solid. so chasing after someone with PK is going to be a little bit of a hit or miss right there. Gets into position really nicely to win the header in the air in that situation. That's what PK is going to be the best at. Like, obviously, with PK's type of uh, stats that he has that are noticeable in regards to agility and balance and whatnot, he's going to feel sluggish more when he chases after someone. But other than that, he's going to offer you a really good defensive presence. Like, even right here, just chasing after someone, I was I had my hat off to controller just for that one part right there. But you can see that his defensive awareness to chase after players with that body type that he has in game is going to be very helpful, obviously. Defensive awareness right here without second man pressing. You can see that he blocks every single player really, really nicely. PK well positioned again there to get that ball. We make the tackle with, I think it was Blanc. And then obviously he's positioned well. Um, his work rates are not really affecting him in regards to his positioning with the other center back in all fairness. Like they're moving off each other really nicely. So Rio Ferdinand pushes out of position in that situation right there. But you can see that PK off the ball wise, look at that understands that he's putting that guy in an off onside position so goes back into that defensive line to make sure that he is offside if the pass is actually made to him yeah guys so in regards to final thoughts about the card it's 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 just one of those things with me and pk you know i feel like with this card if you upgrade him right from his base card stats his 88 which isn't great at all right Obviously, this makes the card more usable. I am noticing he's not terrible, guys. Defensive awareness is great. Physical presence is great. It's just the chasing after animation that's bothersome for me, right? A rare gold Ether Millie Town will move better than this card because he's got the agility and balance stats. With the shadow chemistry style, I think you give him like 92 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, something like that. So because of his body type and game as well, he kind of feels like a hybrid between a center back and a right back, but more like a center back in the right back position. So when he has to push after players, if they get past him, he's pretty solid at doing that. Now, if PK does catch up to somebody, his physical presence and his uh, composure at 99 will kind of throw them off a little bit when he's approaching from behind, right? Sounds a little bit, you know, but uh, I don't know, man. It's just... I feel like I'd like this card more, personally, if the acceleration was a 75 as a base card stat instead of an 85. If it was a 75, that with the shadow chemistry style to boost it to 90 acceleration, his agility and balance wouldn't really bother me that much. His characteristic of that agility and balance to chase after players would still be noticeable, but the acceleration would compensate so much that it wouldn't necessarily really be a huge issue. Again, I do realize that with this card, you may prefer want to you may want to use him on lower depth because of the fact that his high medium work rates will make him aggressive in certain tactics, like again, for me, I use pressure on heavy touch, uh, touch. So with his high medium work rates, he's gonna push up a little bit, but then it's that chasing back that's not gonna be that great. So for my play style, not ideal. However, if you play on drop back or you have low depth, 
he's going to be an okay card for you if you want to use him in that way, right? It's not necessarily going to be a huge problem. You could potentially give him an anchor chemistry style, right? Boost his strength by a 5, his aggression by a 10. But then remember, he will be at 70 acceleration. So you have to make sure you play him on low depth. If you're not, could present to be problems just chasing after players, right? But the aggression will definitely help. Um, but in my opinion, it's just a very, very obvious thing that, you know, you have to give him you have to give him the shadow chemistry style because it's just that, you know, the plus 15 for acceleration, plus 10 for sprint speed, it just feels like such a mandatory thing because of his agility and balance not being that high. So, uh, yeah, with center backs, it's very easy to review them in regards to certain characteristics because the stats really make sense to how the cards perform. I don't really consider Ether Militao overpowered because with the shadow chemistry style boost, it does make sense that he performs a certain way in game. Uh, but with PK's card, again... Physical presence is great. Defensive awareness is fantastic. It's more just that sluggish feel that he has, like Chris Smalling, that I personally don't really like. So if you like Chris Smalling's headliners card, you'll like this PK card because that characteristic is very similar between the two players. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.